Merry Christmas, December 25th of 2021. This is Palmageddon 2.0. Palmageddon number one was in February of this year, I believe, down in Texas. Texas. Those poor Texans, they lost palm trees by the thousands down there due to the historic lows, low temperatures that they had. The garden looks so sad right now. I don't think this is going to be nearly as bad as Texas, but we've got where I live here in Thurston County, Washington, we've got four nights and days below freezing. So it's not going to get above freezing during the daytime. Lowest temperature they have forecasted is 16 degrees. And then the other three nights it'll be in the 20s. That's not super cold. It's not a, a historic event. But that does have the potential to create some problems for some of these palms. It's 35 degrees right now. I think that's as warm as it will get today. But the snow is big and wet and heavy. It's soaking into everything. So the growth point on all these palms, I think, is saturated. And that's not good for palms when it drops down below freezing, of course. So I protected a few things. I got some more protecting I need to do. I'd like to protect the uh, boutiques a little bit. Got another one right there. Tracky Carpus will be on their own. I've got a Jubea that I just put some cover on. A couple camera ops that I just put cover on. No heat. The only thing that has heat at the moment is back in this sheltered area. Inside corner, we've got the house on one side, carport on the other. I've got a 250 watt heat lamp pointed at the growth point of the Cyagris right here. And it is 49 degrees. So what is that? 14 degree degrees above ambient air temperature. So that's really good. Oranga and Glary, Camadoria microspadix. Camadoria radicalis, that little guy. Mule palm. Phlebodium aureum. And Terrace critica, which looks really ratty. And Dixonia antarctica. So those are three marginal ferns here. But I built this area with the intention of being able to just staple some sheet plastic up over it. And that'll take all of 10 minutes and then it will be protected. I think that heat lamp plus the heat radiating from the house will be enough to prevent any major damage to those things. Well, I will update in a couple days and let you know how everything's doing.